Greetings everyone. Today I'll be doing a short video on how to do a quick model using ETHOP 2019. Okay, let's get started. When we open ETHOP 2019 or any version of ETHOP, we will be brought to a screen like this. The first thing to do to start a new project is to click on this icon here. Right? This icon that says create a new document. After creating, after clicking on this icon, it will prompt you to give this project file a name. We will use, our project name will be ETAP Tutorial 1. Okay, after creating the project, there will be a few tabs that will open up. First, this tab, which is our edit mode, our one line diagram edit mode. This is where we will, where we will do most of our work. On the left, we have our system manager. Within this tab, you can see all components in your single line diagram. To the base of our screen here, this is our message log. Within this message log, you will see errors or alert that may pop up when you're doing your short circuit analysis, arc flash analysis, and so forth. I'll just minimize this for now. And to our right, we have a list of components, generators, cables, transformers that we can add to our ETAP file to our single line diagram. <coughs> okay. To get started with our single line diagram, first of all, there's two methods on how to draw a single line diagram. You have the long way and then you have the short way. Okay. The long way first is to click on your component, drag and essentially just placing the components one by one. Another way to do this though is by clicking on the auto, the one line auto build right here. After clicking on the one line auto build, place my generator, then I place my circuit breaker. After clicking on auto build and you place your generator, all you need to do is to click on the generator, then you can add the remainder of components that needs to be added to this single line diagram. Okay, so I click on the generator. Now I'll click on my circuit breaker, a bus, another circuit breaker, transformer, a low voltage circuit breaker, another bus, and now I'll add in a load, I'll add a static load, okay? As you may see, this is by far more simpler and easier to build a single line diagram, more efficient. As you may realize, we have at bus tree 4.16 kV. And at bus 2, we have 13.8 kV. You may wonder, how did it know to put 
13.8 kV there and 4.16 kV here. The answer is simple. In your auto build library or editor, you have some rules that it should follow. First, for each element, there is a spacing, a defined spacing for each that ETAB follows. Okay. On the voltage side, you realize that the voltage starts from 13.8. 4.16 to 2.4 and to 480 volts. Oh, let me change the circuit breaker here. This is not a low voltage circuit breaker. This should be a high voltage circuit breaker or uh, mid voltage circuit breaker. As you may know that low voltage is up to a thousand volts and a thousand volts up to about 35 kilovolts is mid voltage and above that is high voltage so to simple simply had back my circuit breaker i'll just click on the line here and click the circuit breaker okay so if i should add another transformer what should be my next voltage range? My next voltage range should be 2.4 kV because in my rules it is set from 13.8 to 4.16 to 2.4 and then to 480, right? Okay, so add another circuit breaker, right? 2.4 kV. If I should add another transformer I should be getting a voltage of 480 volts at the next bus so voltage circuit breaker and there we have it 480 kilovolts As you can see, it is quick and easy to draw a single line diagram. In our next tutorial, I'll show you some of the errors that you may be exposed to after creating a single line diagram. Thank you for listening and please tune in again for this next video.